She had one yesterday on our show where she was specifically asked uh, after she was attacked by Joy Reid, has there ever been uh, a point where there was discrimination in the country? And she just flubbed the line. She also flubbed with the Civil War. She's lucky I was on vacation because it's something that a Republican from South Carolina with the Civil War started should have been easily she been able to Ryan answer. She said Brian was asking her, is the party racist? Yeah. She said, we're not a racist country. And I was watching other networks and they were saying she had to withdraw that and she had to say there are some racist people but overall we're not a racist country and what do you think she should have said she, what all, have all she has response? to say is, look we have had racist moments because she told the story about right after she said that we're not a racist country of a time when racist things happened to her it's easy to say look we had a time in this country where racism was prevalent we mm -hmm. had moved forward as a country uh, and you. I lived the American dream in single digits of the president. The, this would be the knockout for her, though. If Trump wins big here, it's got to be over. The one challenge that she's going to have is with Republican voters. Um, and I mean the base of the party. And they see right now, there's no way Ron DeSantis people are going to go and vote for Nikki Haley. They don't believe in that Republican Party. Uh, they would say that it is the old Republican Party. But the Christie people will. The Christie people will. They're such a right. small fragment of the entire Republican Party. And I just think that she's doing herself a disservice by claiming to be right. a front runner that she's number two in the race when you had Ron DeSantis and, and what people argue is the most conservative governor right now that she somehow doesn't have to debate him anymore that it is a one-on-one uh, -on -one now with Donald Trump I just don't think that's right. gonna work well right now the Republican Party is like four different parties mm -hmm. because you've got uh, and the Des Moines Register did a survey of people who went out and did the caucusing you know there's a super mega who mm -hmm will only vote for Trump. Mm -hmm. There's the mega persuadable, you know, they they like the policies, but you know, if something comes along, they might. Uh, then there are the moderates and then there are the anti-Trumpers. So it, you know, the, the, the hard thing for a Republican is how do you get all of those people? Mm -hmm. That may not be possible given everybody's approach. Obviously, Donald Trump's got a gr great big built-in advantage mm -hmm. already because he invented MAGA and there are a bunch of it, Super duper mega people. Yeah. And you gotta ask yourself real quickly, Ainsley, mm -hmm. why so many Democrats want Nikki Haley on the ticket? I know there's some polls they that don't suggest want Biden. just that you know that it could be beneficial to the Republican Party uh, to, to beat. Ha to beat. Uh, but a lot of people are giving her money that are a part of the Democratic Party. A lot of people in Iowa, there were Democrats and independents switched over and caucus for her to be on the ticket when they plan on voting for a Democrat. And I just got to ask, you know, she's been having a lot of gaffes lately. And I don't think she's as strong as the establishment class thinks she is. Um, she had one yesterday on our show where she was specifically asked uh, after she was attacked by Joy Reid, has there ever been uh, a point where there was discrimination in the country? And she just flubbed the line. She also flubbed with the Civil War. She's lucky I was on vacation because it's something that a Republican from South Carolina with the Civil War started should have been easily she been able to Ryan answer. She said Brian was asking her, is the party racist? Yeah. She said, we're not a racist country. And I was watching other networks and they were saying she had to withdraw that and she had to say there are some racist people, but overall we're not a racist country. And what do you think she should have said? She, what all have all she has response? to say is, look, we have had racist moments because she told the story about right after she said that we're not a racist country of a time when racist things happened to her. It's easy to say, look, we had a time in this country where racism was prevalent. We mm -hmm. had moved forward as a country, uh, I'll give and you, I lived the American dream. I'll give you an Very example. Simple. Well, it was Joy Reid said she didn't win because she's brown, yeah. and Republicans don't vote for brown people. Her answer should have been, uh, I lost not because of the color of my skin. Yeah. I lost because Donald Trump beat me by 30 points, easy. and I think it's going to be different in New Hampshire. And I would say this, it's the, not the Republican Party that's got to run from their racist past. Yeah. Uh, Abraham Lincoln was a Republican. Frederick Douglass was a Republican. Booker T. Washington was a Republican. 